Hello, I'm Dr. Pamela Ruig, Extension Milk Quality Veterinarian for the University of Wisconsin-Madison. And today we're going to be talking about making responsible choices about drug usage in dairy cows. This is part one of a three-part series about antibiotic usage in dairy cows. In this first section, we're going to discuss the role of the veterinarian in responsible usage of drugs. As all of us know, consumers are increasingly concerned that those of us in the dairy industry are potentially overusing drugs. And they're concerned about that because they worry that their food will contain residues of those drugs that we've administered on the farms. For those of us such as veterinarians and farm workers, it's very important for us to understand these con concerns and make sure that we have systems in place to ensure that we use the drugs responsibly. We want to use them only when needed, only when we need them, to maintain the well-being of the cows that we care for. And one part of ensuring that we use them properly is to define the role of the herd veterinarian. Now, depending on the farm, veterinarians have many different roles that they um, play in ensuring animal well-being. But one thing that's important to recognize when we think about the responsible usage of drugs is that dairy veterinarians have training and they have the access to resources that will allow them to understand when the use of antibiotics or other drugs are really necessary and those, they can also determine those instances when they're not really needed. Now, not all animals with symptoms of illness will require a veterinary exam. That's very similar to us. Sometimes we just don't feel very well, we've got something that doesn't last very long, and we don't have to rush off to the emergency room. However, it's very important that all farms work very closely with the veterinarian so that we can ensure that animals that do require veterinary oversight receive appropriate care and also so, so that we can ensure that when those animals receive drugs, the food produced from those animals will be safe for human consumption. So the veterinarian's role would include working closely with the farmer to develop farm-specific treatment protocols. It would include working closely with farm personnel to train them to detect disease, identify and record symptoms, administer agreed upon treatment protocols, and understand when, of course, that animal would require further examination by a veterinarian. The veterinarian's role also uh, entails reviewing treatment records to ensure compliance with those protocols, and, of course, monitoring drug inventories and the labeling of those drugs to ensure that they're being used properly. Part two in this series is going to cover the different types of allowable uses of drugs on dairy farms. But in the United States, most drugs require some level of veterinary supervision. And the basis for that veterinary supervision is having a solid veterinary client-patient relationship. Now, the regulations governing the veterinary client-patient relationship, or the VCPR, are actually codified by federal, or in some cases, state regulations. But in general, the VCPR requirements include about three components. One is that the veterinarian has assumed the responsibility for making medical judgments regarding the health of the animals on the farm and whether or not they need medical treatment. And the second part of that responsibility is that the client, the farmer, has agreed to follow the instructions of the veterinarian. So there's an agreement between the veterinarian and the farmer that the veterinarian is ultimately responsible. And the client has agreed that they will follow those instructions. Now, in order to get to that point, these regulations specify that the veterinarian must have sufficient knowledge of the animals and um, be able to arrive at at least a general diagnosis of the medical condition. Furthermore, the veterinarian who ha holds that veterinary client-patient relationship must be readily available for follow-up in case there's an adverse reaction to the drug 
or the treatment protocol fails. One practical way to ensure that you have a valid veterinary client-patient relationship is to codify through a written relationship who your veterinarian of record is. Now a veterinarian of record is responsible for providing oversight of drug usage on your farm. This particular veterinarian would be the person who you would work with to establish written treatment protocols. The veterinarian of record would do the training of the personnel on how to implement those treatment protocols. The veterinarian of record would review the treatment records to ensure that compliance is occurring. The veterinarian of record can monitor your drug inventories and assure that all the drugs are properly labeled. Now in order for um, this relationship to work, this, this veterinarian of record is the veterinarian who has regular farm visits to your farm and it's the veterinarian who reviews the farm records and the lab work um, that are essential to, to ensure that the proper drugs are being administered for the proper conditions. On many larger farms, there's multiple veterinarians who may come to the farm, and each has their own role. You may have a technical service veterinarian for a pharmaceutical or nutrition company that provides consulting advice. You may have a veterinarian who does simply the reproductive herd management, and you may have other veterinarians who have other roles, such as treating sick cows or, um, or working with uh, training in the milking parlor. The veterinarian of record would be unique amongst those, um, the, that group of veterinarians in that this is the veterinarian who has responsibility for drug usage. So one important um, uh, communication aspect is that these other veterinarians working in their own important areas and other consultants working on the farm should notify the veterinarian of, uh, veterinarian of record if they were making recommendations that would result in changes to those treatment protocols. So no one except the veterinarian of record would actually have the authority to change a treatment protocol. Another unique aspect that, of, of being the veterinarian of record is that all the prescription drugs and extra label drug usage is supervised only by the veterinarian of record. So this is the responsibilities of this individual on the farm. All of us working in the dairy industry want to ensure that animals are well treated, they're healthy, and that the products that come from them are safe for human consumption. Best way to do this is to ensure that our veterinarians and our farmers work closely together to ensure that drugs are used appropriately on dairy farms. Each farm should work closely with their veterinarian to establish a written agreement that defines the role of the veterinarian. This agreement will form the basis for ensuring the proper usage of drugs and oversight that minimizes the risks of residues in milk and meat. Now in our next uh, part of this series, we're going to talk about the allowable types of drug usage.